here is the next example in this example he gave us the abc matrices and he's saying that the desired poles are at uh, minus 1 and minus 2 first we will find the controllability i mean it is not necessary to find the controllability for this example but um, I, I want to prove something at the end so i found the controllability uh, from the controllability matrix pc pc determinant of pc equals 0 so the model is not controllable and then we'll find the stability stability i can find it by using the poles so i'll find sm minus a from sm minus a determinant of sm minus a gives me the poles s equal to 1 s equal to 2 which poles are on the right hand side of the y axis so that system is not stable okay it's not a stable system it's an unstable system this is also not needed to find um, to find the uh, feedback or for the desired poles f1 and f2 um, but as i mentioned i'm going to prove something at the end next point i'll find ac ac equal to a minus bf so f equal to f1 and f2 sometimes i used g1 and g2 so if you are going through my notes you can use f or g it doesn't matter that's that's for the feedback i'm using different variables so ac equal to 4 minus f1 minus 2 minus f2 3 minus f1 minus 1 minus f2 okay um si minus ac i found this si minus ac matrix now i found the determinant of si minus ac so determinant of si minus ac equal to i end up with s square plus f1 plus f2 minus 3 times s plus 2 minus f1 minus f2 this is the actual characteristic polynomial equation okay from the given system now we know that the desired poles are s plus 1 and s plus 2 so I end up with s square plus 3s plus 2 now if we equate these two with the i mean this is the desired characteristic polynomial equation so when we equate these two 3 equal to f1 plus f2 minus 3 and 2 minus f1 minus f2 equal to 2 okay when i equate these two i end up with f1 plus f2 equal 6 at the same time i end up with f1 plus f2 equal to 0 so it's impossible to find the values for f1 f2 to satisfy both equation both equations so there is no solution for this so what does it mean you cannot find the feedback for these desired poles if you go with some different desired poles yeah it might be possible okay so here is the thing first thing so first thing i found the model is not controllable and i also find the poles in the given system if if the desired poles are not one of these actual poles okay so the actual poles are one and two and my desired poles are three and minus minus one and minus two okay so actual poles are 1 and 2 and desired poles are minus 1 and minus 2. Actual poles are entirely different than desired poles. And the model is not controllable. If that's the case, none of the desired poles are, are in the actual poles. Or none of the desired poles are not equivalent to actual, actual poles. And the system is not controllable. If that's the case, there is no solution exists for this, this kind of example, this kind of problem. Okay, um, thank you. I will solve one more example in this video.